Yo, what the heck is going on? So it looks like we finally got a release date for Splatoon 3 and I'll admit, I'm a little disappointed. Nintendo announced a few weeks back that Splatoon 3 will be released worldwide on September 9th, 2022. I actually got the news while I was at PAX East and I gotta say, I wasn't too thrilled. So Splatoon, Spl the Splatoon's release date, what, September? Nice. September 9th, thanks guy, how does that mean? I'm just happy that they didn't like push it way back because that would have like really been shitty. Um, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Apparently September still counts as summer. September's not summer. It's really no not. Way. And before I get more into this topic, yes, I know September is still technically a summer month, but not to me, okay? I think June, July, and August are the only summer months, okay? September is just the school month, it's just fall. I don't know why people are still arguing about this thing, but whatever. Maybe it makes sense in the business world or just seasonally, but September, I honestly think, does not really count, but Nintendo is still upholding their promise of a summer release, but still, really? Anyways, let's get to it. So up until this point, we weren't really getting any new news concerning Splatoon 3 other than the summer release announcement back during the Nintendo Direct. Since then, some games have come out on the Switch, such as Kirby and the Forgotten Land and the new Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. Both have been very successful and fun to play. I noticed that Nintendo likes to play their marketing game in a very specific manner, meaning like they give their titles, uh, their bigger titles, enough spotlight for a certain amount of time and they quickly move on to the next one just to kind of keep the flow moving. Knowing this, I was expecting that Splatoon 3 would have a very big push, especially in the coming months, as the summer season gets closer and closer. This would later be confirmed by an announcement made on April 19th, 2022, stating that Xenoblade Chronicles 3's release date would be shifted up from September to July. More specifically, July 29th. I mean, you've heard of games being shifted back or delayed to endless amounts, but a game's release date being moved up that much is pretty much unheard of. And knowing this, my mind automatically went to thinking of what's going to happen to Splatoon 3, and could it be possible that we could get two major titles released in the same month? Since Splatoon 2 was released on July 21st, 2017, I was automatically assuming that the third game would be released around the same time frame, but I guess I was wrong. But props to Xenoblade fans, you guys definitely deserve an amazing game, and here's to a great one. My thoughts were disproven as Nintendo released that trailer which I mentioned earlier in the video that contained some awesome and badass gameplay of the Turf War mode in Splatoon 3. And I gotta say, they really went all out this time. The new weapons, subs, specials, and overall aesthetic of Splatoon 3 were all showcased, followed by the release date of September 9th, 2022. Damn. Basically, Splatoon and Xenoblade switch places. Now, at the time of this recording, we still do not know the reason that Splatoon's release was pushed back, assuming it was initially going to release in July, but either way, I'm still a little disappointed. Splatoon is a game that is just perfect for the summer. The vibe and the style really embody the feeling of summer fun and chaos. Not to mention that school's out by then, so everyone and their dog is going to want to hop on and splat it up to their heart's content. What I'm trying to say is, September sucks. Now, it doesn't actually suck, but it does mess up some things in terms of the release date. Think about it, September is a time where people usually go back to school, college, or their schedules and life just get busier, which means less time to actually play and enjoy the game. Granted, it also depends on the type of person as well. A game the size of Splatoon 3 shouldn't be released when there's no one around to play it. I mean, it makes more sense to have it when people are free and they have the amount of hours and dedication they can just sink into the game and enjoy it that much more. Not to mention the amount of content creators who have to shift their plans because of this new release date. I'm talking like delays of tournaments, videos, streams, you name it. While these may not seem like huge reasons why I'm disappointed for this new release date, I am still happy that we're getting the game this year. I mean, imagine if it pulled a Breath of the Wild 2 and released next year, am I right? Regardless, this is going to be a huge turning point for the Splatoon franchise. This is their third game into the series, and they're going to pull out all the bells and whistles and make this thing into the best experience they can for every player. This could potentially be the last Splatoon game on the Nintendo Switch, meaning that there could be new DLC or events like Splatfest, which basically gives this game the grand finale it deserves. I also see this game as a major fresh start for people who haven't played Splatoon in a while to people who have never played the game at all. Everyone starts off the same with the same levels, rank, weapons, so you'll be able to experience all that newness with people for the first time. Needless to say, this is going to be a good one. Sorry, a well one. Splatoon as a series has gained so much fame and popularity over the last few years, and its fan base is home to thousands, if not more, of amazing people who love and support their game to the max. This may mark the end of the Splatoon 2 era, but it starts the next and greatest era of Splatoon 3. That's all I got for this time around. Be sure to let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this delay and any other opinions you have on Splatoon 3. Also, 
Make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing if you did enjoy the video. And with that being said, I have been Night Sky, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Either way, it is a very scuffed moment. What? <laughs>